up till now what we have done is we have created a ruby on rails sample app we understood a little bit about the directory structure we understood what some directories do we understood what some files like junk file readme do and uh, app directory config directory and uh, public directory we've understood a little bit now let us get back to the application that we want to build which is a static site with some dynamic content and uh, it will have about uh, five pages as shown in the slide so we're going to build a static site with a sprinkle of dynamic content to do that uh, we need to st start by executing this particular command on the console you have so it's rails generate controller pages home about so we're going to do a rails generate controller we'll understand what a controller is later the name of the controller is pages and it will have uh, two different uh, pages pages is name of the controller home and about are sub components of pages once you execute this command the output looks something like this so output is a little big but we want to concentrate on some important things here what the command does as it creates a file called as pages underscore controller dot rb what dot rb means is that it's a ruby file okay pages underscore uh, controller says that it's a controller and uh, pages is the name that we ourselves have given then it creates roots for pages underscore pages slash about and pages slash home we'll understand what roots are a little while later and then it creates views uh, simply html files with an additional dot erb extension basically what dot erb means is it means embedded rb or embedded ruby files uh, it allows you to execute ruby code inside html files we will look at it in detail in the next one